So this will be video two for the trailer build out. And this one is gonna be all about getting shore power hooked up inside of this trailer. And we're gonna get power put inside the trailer. We're gonna put some plugins in there, uh, plugins for the workbench area, a plugin for the air compressor, and then one up right behind this because I need a junction box there and it'll just be a miscellaneous plug where I'll probably end up putting my charging station for all my battery power tools. We're gonna also put some motion sensor lights on the inside of this thing and get it all hooked up. First things first, let's go ahead and get this panel completely ripped out of here. And then we're gonna rip out that upper panel on this other wall. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of the paneling off and not show you guys. However, I will tell you that this is not complicated, it's just frustrating. I've gone ahead and pre-drilled a couple of the holes we're going to use to run the conduit, or excuse me, the wire through. We're gonna put grommet through all these holes because this is metal. We're gonna get this last hole drilled. So this is the shore power, the back of the plug from the outside that you saw.
So I ordered these uh, Lit Path. These are motion sensor LEDs. We need to get them mounted on these boards and then we're gonna get them wired up into the ceiling. So there will be no light switch in my trailer. These should be enough light to function inside the trailer. All right, I'm gonna grab my screw gun and get this thing flipped up here and screwed into place. So I finished up the shore power install in this trailer. This does not have any battery bank or any inverters or anything like that. For how I'm gonna use this trailer, I didn't feel the cost was necessary. I also didn't wanna sacrifice the space. So. This trailer for me is used on job sites where there's always 110 power and in a real pinch, I am gonna have a, a small 2000 watt generator that will be stored in here so I could use that to power the stuff that's in this trailer. But basically we put a 110 power connection through the trailer wall by the front man door. That wire comes up the wall, connects to a light, comes across, connects to another light which is in front of me here, down to a four bank of plugins which will be above the workbench and down to another plugin which will plug in my generator, or my air compressor, excuse me. So my air compressor will always just be able to stay in here and I'll be able to run hoses out. There will be an uh, electrical reel, so like a reel you can spool out and pull back in that will be plugged in probably to that other plug-in down by where the air compressor will be. But this was basically just basic 110 house wiring. Um, I realized that I might not have quite followed code for uh, what would be required inside of the house. However, in this application it's going to work and it's going to work just fine. I'm a big fan of running stuff behind the paneling. So you saw me take the paneling down, put the wires and put the paneling back up. It's a lot of extra work, but I don't like having those extra conduits and things running on the outside of the wall. I hope you guys got a lot out of this one. I hope it was really uh, useful and informative for something that may be good for you on your trailer. But until next time, thanks for watching.